It's nighttime in the big city. A storm is coming. A woman wonders. It's theme time radio hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for a living. And the child that is born on the Sabbath day is bonny and blithe and good and gay. That's Monday's child and nursery rhyme for Mother Goose. It's also considered a fortune-telling song. You're supposed to be able to tell a child's character or what would happen to them in the future based on the day they were born. We're going to be learning about every day of the week and hearing songs about Monday through Sunday. We'll hear about Blue Mondays, Ruby Tuesdays, all the way through Saturday and Sunday. The first page of the Bible explains how God created the world and rested on the Sabbath. But even people who don't follow the Judeo-Christian Bible have a seven-day week. So this week's show will certainly have a worldwide appeal. Let's start out with an overview, looking at all seven days. A song by a man named Sterling Harrison, who never got his due. He used to sing demos for Holland, Dozier, and Holland, but never had a hit of his own. Before he died, he was singing for Dollar Tips in a barbecue joint at 82nd and Weston. There is great music happening all over the country. Sometimes you gotta seek it out. And if you don't seek it out, it's just gonna disappear. Here's a great guy you never heard of, Sterling Harrison in Seven Days. That was Sterling Harrison in Seven Days, a song originally recorded by Little Junior Parker. Some people start the week off with Monday, but I started off with Sunday myself. There's a lot of songs written about Sunday, and some of them are pretty heavy. For example, this one, Sunday Bloody Sunday, from 1983 by U2. It's a song about the slaughter of innocent civilians in Ireland. It attempts to compare and contrast the troubles in Northern Ireland with the significance of Easter Sunday. On January 30th, 1972, 30,000 people marched into Derry in a march organized by the Civil Rights Association. Armored cars appeared from behind barriers. British troops boxed in hundreds of people. 
All of the soldiers were fully armed with combat rifles. Suddenly, shots rang out. At the end of the day, thirteen people lay dead and seventeen wounded. You too wrote the following song, so those people would never be forgotten. Here's you too. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Sunday, bloody Sunday. Let's take a moment and remember the names of the people who died that day. 
Jack Duddy, Patty Doherty, Bernard McGugan, Hi Gilmore, Kevin McElhaney, Michael McDade, William Nash, John Young, Michael Kelly, Jim Ray, Gerard Donaghy, Gerard McKinney, William McKinney, and John Johnston. Jack White doesn't find Sunday particularly sad, but he knows when it is a Sunday. I'll let him explain it. Yeah, funny you should ask Bob about days of the week because going out on tour, it seems like no matter where I am in the world, I always know when it's Sunday. You know, I don't I don't know what the date is. Maybe I don't even know what month or year it is or what country we're in, but I know it's Sunday for some reason. And uh, I've always wondered why that is. Let's cheer things up a little bit. I don't want the whole show to be tear-stained. It's Frankie D. Simmons. You might be wondering why a song called Lucy May Blues is being played on our Days of the Week show. We'll give a listen. My Sunday woman brings the daily news That Monday woman buys me talking in shoes And I let my good gal get you here Ain't no telling what poor little Lucy may do My Tuesday woman told that pocket change that windy woman wants to do the same And I let my good gal get you here Ain't no telling what poor little Lucy may do My Thursday woman knocked upon my door That Friday woman boy is got a go And I let my good gal get you here My third woman told the gal and gun Cause you help you stand, shoot you if you run But I let my good gal get you here Ain't no telling what poor little Lucy may do One Christmas coming back that afternoon Next time I seen a boy It was the 19th of June And I let my good gal get you here Ain't no telling what poor little Lucy may do Goodbye little woman, babe You call that gone You may leave Frankie, baby To think you won't stay long And I let my good gal get you here That was Frankie Lee Sims. He's Lightning Hopkins' cousin, born in New Orleans, died in Dallas. I recorded that song with this kind of a mashup between a couple of blues standards. You hear a little bit of Ain't No Tellin', which Mississippi John Hurt made famous, and a little taste of My Sunday Woman, or as some people call it, Every Day in the Week. I like the version by Sleepy John Estes. Let's move on through the week now. We've gotten through Sunday. You know what that means. Monday. It's time for Monday. And if I know my radio show, that sounds like a song cue. It's Smiley Lewis and his song, Blue Monday. You probably know it better by Fats Domino. But whenever we have a chance to play Smiley, we like to do it.
That was Smiley Lewis, who was edging out George Jones with the most played artist on Theme Time Radio Hour, Blue Monday. In the beginning, the days of the week were named after deities who had dominion over that particular day. Some of these are pretty obvious. You know, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn. Nowadays, English has retained the original planet names for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Saturn, Sun, and Moon. The other four days, the names of Anglo-Saxon or Nordic gods replaced the Roman gods that gave names to the planets. For example, Wednesday is named after Woden or Odin. Thursday is named after Thor. And Friday is named after Freya. Personally, I would have named Tuesday after Ruby. But the Rolling Stones beat me to it. She would never say where she came from. Yesterday don't matter if it's gone. While the sun is bright Or in the darkest night No one knows She comes and goes Why she needs to be so free She'll tell you it's the only way to be She just can't be chained To a life where nothing's gained And nothing's lost at such a cost There's no time to lose, I heard her say Catch your dreams before they slip away Dying all the time Lose your dreams and you may lose your mind in life unkind Ruby Tuesday by the Rolling Stones, one of the prettiest songs they've ever recorded, and it's from Between the Buttons. You might be interested to know that Ruby Tuesday was supposed to only be a B-side. For those of you who don't know what a B-side is, that was the other side of a 45 that wasn't a hit. The A-side, in this case, was supposed to be Let's Spend the Night Together, but a lot of disc jockeys thought it was too sexual, and so they wouldn't play it. But they played the flip side, and that's how Ruby Tuesday became such a hit. What I like about that record is Brian Jones playing the recorder. The recorder is a woodwind of the family known as fibble flutes. A fibble is a wooden plug at the end of a flute. The flute, in its heyday, was associated with birds, shepherds, miraculous events, funerals, marriages, and amorous scenes. 
I think it's one of the most beautiful sounds known to man. I brought mine with me today, and if you don't mind, I'm going to play a little something for you. <clears throat> How about that? Anton Chekhov once said, There isn't a Monday that would not cede its place to Tuesday. Our next performer is truly one of the greats. He signed with OK Records in 1925. And between 1925 and 1932, he cut an estimated 130 tracks. He cut blues, guitar duets with Eddie Lang, recorded with Louis Armstrong's Hot Five, and Duke Ellington. And those aren't even the records he's most famous for. In the late 30s and 40s, he recorded for the Blue Bird label, great blues tracks like He's a Jelly Roll Baker. In 1947, he joined King Records, and that's where we pick him up today. Here's Lanning Johnson and Tomorrow Night. Tomorrow night Will you remember what you said to Just another lovely song It's in my heart To linger on Your lips Are so tender Your heart Is beating fast And you willingly surrender Johnson and tomorrow night. Lonnie fell on hard times in the 50s. He was working as a janitor in Philadelphia. Elmer Snowden, the jazz banjo player, discovered him. He had a major comeback. He made some great records for prestige in the early 60s and toured with the blues revivalists, but he couldn't catch a break. In 1969, he was struck by a car in Toronto and died a year later from injuries resulting from that accident. The great Lonnie Johnson and Tamara Knight here on Theme Time Radio Hour. 
Some other people who are able to see tomorrow night are clairvoyants, such as Madame Blavatsky, who founded the Theosophical Society, and Edgar Casey, the spiritual healer. And who could forget the famed TV psychic from the 50s, the amazing Quizwa. He had a great voice and even better hair. He was in the movie Plan 9 from Outer Space and was a frequent visitor to 50s television. Let's listen to a few of Criswell's predictions. Ah, greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives, whether we want to or not. And remember, my friend, these future events will affect you. The future is in your hands. I predict full medical attention by vending machines. I predict in the future it will be highly possible to, to have an appendix operation, give birth to a child, or receive an abortion, have a heart transplant, a hair transplant, or even a brain transplant by vending machine. Your own weight will be controlled by vending machine for 10 cents worth of radaric rays. Thank you, Criswell. You know, some weeks we don't play a single Irish group, and here we are today with a second one. This one's not quite as serious as you two, however. As a matter of fact, they say they write a lot of songs about chocolate and girls. You Irish aficionados already know I'm talking about the undertones. They recorded a song called Teenage Kicks that fella DJ, the late Don Peel, thought was one of the greatest things he ever heard. His attention got them a deal with Sire Records, and they turned opening for The Clash. They wrote a great song about Wednesday, a day of the week that there aren't many songs about. Here's one of the best Wednesday week, The Undertones. Undertones with Wednesday Week, which is kind of an English-Irish way of saying next Wednesday. Wednesday is considered either the third or fourth day of the week, depending on whether you start your week on Sunday or Monday. When Sunday is the first day of the week, Wednesday ends up being in the middle of the week. That's why the Finnish call it something I cannot pronounce, but is translated as center of the week. Here in the U.S., we just call it hump day. One famous Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, which is the first day of Lent. My name is Mrs. Adams, and I want you to find my little girl Wednesday. Look, I'll find her Tuesday if I can, but don't give me no deadlines, will you please? <laughs> Wednesday's her name. 
Oh, and I suppose you're going to tell me her, her middle name is Thursday, huh? Friday. Well, we've covered Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I bet you can guess what's next. That's right, Thursday. And here's a song all about that day by a trio called Morphine. They got kind of an unusual instrumentation. They got a drummer, a guy playing the saxophone, and Mark Sandman, who sings and plays a homemade, detuned, two-string bass that he built himself. This is from their 1993 disc, Care for Pain. It's called Thursday. We used to meet every Thursday, Thursday, Thursday in the afternoon. For a couple of beers, then a game of pool. We used to go to a motel, a motel, a motel across the street. Then the name of the motel was a wagon wheel. She said, come on, come on. She said, why don't you come back to my house? She said, my husband's out of town. You know he's gone till the end of the month. Well, I was just so nervous and so nervous. You know I couldn't really quite relax. Because I was never really quite sure when a husband was coming back. Morphine with Thursday, telling you about what can happen if you push things too far, might lose a good thing. Unfortunately, on July 3rd, 1999, Mark Sandman had a fatal heart attack and died on stage while playing in a festival in Rome. Morphine, here on Theme Time Radio Hour. Morphine is the principal derivative of opium which is the juice in the unripe seed pods of the opium poppy. Morphine was used during the American Civil War as a surgical anesthetic and was sent home with many wounded soldiers for relief of pain. When the Civil War was over, over 400,000 soldiers had what was called the Army Disease, which was, you guessed it, morphine addiction. Give me that old-fashioned morphine Fashion morphine, give me that old fashion morphine. It's good enough for me. Don't forget, it's only two weeks away. Theme time radio hour, Lexa Classic Rock. 
We're looking at the days one by one, but we also want to look at them as simply days. Some days you're the dog, other days you're the hydrant. Here's another Mother Goose rhyme. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday, took ill on Thursday, worse on Friday, died on Saturday, buried on Sunday. This is the end of Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy. The name Solomon Grundy was also used as the name of the man who couldn't die, who was an arch enemy of the original Green Lantern. And now, TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. If you're like me, you probably have Friday on your mind. Well, here's the perfect soundtrack. From 1965, the Easy Beats, Friday on My Mind. Monday morning feels so bad. Everybody seems to nag me. Coming Tuesday, I feel better. was the Easy Beats, Friday on My Mind, here on Theme Time Radio Hour. That song was written by Harry Vanda and George Young. Well, after the Easy Beats broke up, Vanda and Young became full-time songwriters and producers. They helped put together ACTC. As a matter of fact, two of George Young's younger brothers, Angus and Malcolm, were in ACTC. Vanda and Young also had another project called Flash and the Pan. They had a novelty hit with Hey St. Peter and recorded another song that ended up being a big hit for Grace Jones. It was called Walking in the Rain and it's a shame we already done a weather show or oh, we definitely would have played that one. We got time for an email now before we get to the end of the week. Let's go to the email basket. This one comes from Jackie Van from Manhattan. Jackie writes, Bob, I know that Cheryl Crow is a friend of yours, but what is your take on her using Buddy Holly's great not fade away for a TV hair dye commercial? I felt the most awful, stinging disappointment 
when I first heard it. I felt betrayed by Crow, as I'm almost sure Buddy would have. He was such a stickler for controlling his own material. I can't imagine he's liking this commercial adaptation. Well, Jackie, I have to disagree with you. When's the last time you heard Buddy Holly on the radio? There aren't a lot of shows like Theme Time Radio Hour. A lot of people get to hear commercials, and if it makes one person curious about either Buddy or Cheryl, I'm all for it. How many people never heard of Nick Drake until he was in a car commercial? A lot of musicians have always been proud to have commercial affiliation. Sonny Boy Williamson's old flower. I can't imagine Sonny Boy saying, My blues is too sacred, I wouldn't sell flower. Jimmy Rogers sold biscuits. Cheryl Crow sells hair dye. More power to her. Hey, Jackie, have you ever seen a Victoria's Secret ad? <laughs> well, with Friday comes the weekend. And one of my favorite songs about the weekend is by the Silver Fox, Charlie Rich. He was a little more sophisticated than a lot of rockabilly musicians. As a matter of fact, Sam Phillips rejected his early demos, complaining they were too jazzy. He did use him as a session musician, though, and you can hear him backing up Johnny Cash, Warren Smith. Billy Lee Riley, and Ray Smith. Sam saw the latter day, though, and in 1958 started releasing Charlie's records on his Phillips International label. He didn't have a hit, though, until 1960. With his third single, it became a top 30 hit. I'm going to play it for you right now. Here's the great Charlie Rich, Lonely Weekends. Well, I make it all right From Monday morning to Friday Since you left me, I'm as lonely as I can be. Oh, those lonely weekends. You said you'd be good to me. You said our love would never die. You said you'd be good to me. But baby. Charlie Rich, Lonely Weekends. Why, well, there's Lonely Weekends and there's Last Weekends. The Last Weekend won the Academy Award in 1945. It's directed by the great Billy Wilder, and it's one of the first movie scores to use a sermon. It's the story of an alcoholic played by Ray Milland on a weekend bender. Let's listen to it a little bit as Ray begs his favorite bartender for one more drink. Let me have one, Ned. I'm dying. Just one. I'll pay you when I can, only just don't let me die. No credit and you know it. All right, it's charity. I'm begging you. Give me one, man. Yeah, one. One's too many and a hundred's not enough. There's no feeling like that moment when you're getting ready for a Saturday night. The world is full of possibilities. And no one has captured that wistful feeling better than Tom Waits did on this song. The title track from his 1976 album, The Heart of Saturday Night. Here's Tom Waits. Well, you gasped her hand of weed With your arm around your sweet one You 
your Oldsmobile Hailing down the boulevard You're looking for the heart of Saturday night And you get paid on Friday And your pockets are jingling And you see the lights And you get all tingling Cause you're cruising with a six And you're looking for the heart of Saturday night And you comb your hair You shave your face Trying to wipe out every trace Of all the other days In a week you know that this will be the Saturday You're reaching your peak Stopping on the red You're going on the green Cause tonight will be like nothing You've ever seen in your bed and down the boulevard You're looking for the heart of Saturday night Tell me is it the crack of the pool balls Neon buzzing Telephones ringing at your second cousin Is it the barmaid smile In the corner of her eye Magic of the melancholy tearing your eyes Exit kind of quiver Down in the cold Cause you're dreaming of them Saturdays They came before and now you're stumbling You're stumbling onto the hard Saturday night You gassed her up and you're behind her I'm around your sweet one, your old mobile, barreling down the boulevard. You're looking for the heart of Saturday night. Is it the crack of the pool balls, neon buzzing, telephones ringing at your second cousin, and the barmaid is smiling in the corner of her eye? Oh, the melancholy tearing your eyes Exit kind of special Down in the cold And you're dreaming of them Saturdays That came before it's found you stumbling Stumbling onto the heart of Saturday night And you're stumbling Stumbling onto the heart Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was Tom Waits looking for the heart of Saturday night. Some people look for the heart of Saturday night and they never find it and they get lost in the search. And when they do, they can fall victim to wasted days and wasted nights. I'm going to let Doug Sam do a shout out to the man who wrote it before he sings it. Now a song written by the great Freddie Finn. Freddie, this for you, wherever you are. Wasted days and wasted nights.
That was Doug Psalm doing the Freddie Fender classic, Wasted Days and Wasted Nights. Freddie was born in San Benito, Texas. He was sentenced to five years in Angola State Prison for marijuana possession, but he only served three, and he was paroled by Louisiana Governor Jimmy Davis, who wrote the song, You Are My Sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Governor Davis knew how dangerous the influence of musicians could be, so he cautioned Fender to stay away from the corruptive influence of the music scene, or he'd have to go back and serve the rest of his sentence. Freddie waited for two years, and when his parole ended, he went back to the music scene and started performing again. It took him a while to get traction, but he ultimately did. And in 1975, his version of Wasted Days and Wasted Nights was the number one country single. The thing about days is they keep rolling on. You finish off a Saturday, and there's another Sunday waiting in line. We started off our show on Sunday, and we're going to end it there. After all those wasted days and wasted nights, you know there's going to be a Sunday morning coming down. Here's Chris Christopherson with one of his greatest songs. I woke up Sunday morning with no way to hold my head that didn't hurt. And the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad. So I had one more for dessert. Sunday morning coming down. Well, I woke up Sunday morning with no way to hold my head that didn't hurt. Beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad So I had one more for dessert Then I fumbled through my closet for my clothes And found my cleanest dirty shirt And I shaved my face and combed my hair and Stumbled down the stairs to meet the day I'd smoked my brain the night before On cigarettes and songs that I'd been picking But I lit my first and watched a small kid Cussing at a can that he was kicking Then I crossed the empty street and caught the Sunday smell of someone frying chicken. And it took me back to something that I'd lost somehow, somewhere along the way. On the Sunday morning sidewalk. Wishing, Lord, that I was stoned Cause there's something in a Sunday Makes a body feel alone And there's nothing short of dying Half as lonesome as the sound Sleep in the city sidewalks Sunday morning coming down In the park I saw a daddy With a laughing little girl Who he was swinging And I stopped beside a Sunday school And Listen to the song that they were singing Then I headed back for home And somewhere far away A lonely bell was ringing And it echoed through the canyons Like the disappearing dreams of yesterday on the Sunday morning sidewalk 
wishing the Lord that I was stoned Cause there's something in a Sunday Makes the body feel alone And there's nothing short of dying Half as lonesome as it sounds On the sleeping city sidewalks Sunday morning coming down That was Chris Christopherson. He's a road scholar. Sunday morning coming down. Well, I can see the sun coming up over the horizon, meaning our day here is done. Night creeps in, throwing shadows across the Abernathy building. I'm going to leave you with the words of the husband of the woman who wrote Frankenstein. That's right. It's Percy Bice Shelley. At the end of the day, it's a good night. Good night. Ah, no, the hour is ill which severs those it should unite. Let us remain together still, then it will be good night. How can I call the lone night good, though my sweet wishes wing its flight? Be it not said, thought understood, then it will be good night. To hearts which near each other move, from evening close to morning light, the night is good. Because, my love, they never say good night. Good night, everybody. See you next week. Thanks for listening to Theme Time Radio Hour with your host, Bob Dylan. Produced by Eddie Gorodetsky. Associate producer, Ben Rollins. Continuity by Eats Martin. Editor, Damian Rodriguez. Supervising editor, Rob McCumber. Research team, Diane Lapson and Bernie Bernstein. With additional research by April Hayes, Callie Gladman, Terrence Michaels, Sean Patrick, and Lynn Sheridan. Librarian, Robert Bauer. Production coordinator, Debbie Sweeney. Production assistance by Jim McBean. Special thanks to Randy Azradi, Coco Shinomiya, and Samson Steiner. For XM Radio, Lee Abrams. Recorded in Studio B in the historic Abernathy Building. Studio engineer, Tex Carbone. This has been a great water park production in association with Big Red Tree. This is your announcer, Pierre Mancini, speaking. Join us again next week when our subject is California.